Hello my lovely crafty friends. I am here today to share a journaling page that I created using an adorable image from Oddball Stamps. Um, I am super excited to share it because I've had this journal for ages and I just, you know, had not had the chance to use it. So I'm super excited to finally use it. This is a dilutions journal by Ranger and I am going to be starting here by adding some white gesso to my page so I can prep it and I'll be able to add some more um, ink and stuff onto it. Now I don't know the real reason behind it other than you know to start with the white surface um, here and like I said I am just beginning to do journaling. I've been watching some of the videos that Vicky from Vicky Papayano she is amazing in making this and I've always wanted to give it a try so I'm super excited to finally do it. So I've seen her do this sometimes to add the white gesso and I am using the Vicky Boutin like I said brand here. I think that you could use whatever brand you want. But this is just going to create a white surface for me to um, work on. So I let that dry and then I'm going to be adding some distress inks, um, distress oxide inks to blend onto my page to create a background. Just kind of adding different colors here and there. Um, now I'm not going to be chatting too, too much here. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music and I'll come back. But I wanted to quickly mention that I am going to be over on my blog today and also at the Oddball Stamps blog. So I would love to have you visit there. Leave me a comment and then that way you can see more still photos of my project. Also, you can follow me on Instagram to kind of stay up to date with what I've been doing because I don't always have time to make videos and I've missed it. I know a lot of you have sent me messages that you've missed my videos. So thank you so much for all your love. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm doing okay. It's just been a little crazy lately. And, um, you know, making videos does take a little bit longer. So make sure that you follow me either on my Facebook page, my Instagram, or visit my blog. So that way you can stay up to date with more of my projects that I am not sharing here. Because I am, you know, trying to stay keeping a little bit busy creating some projects. So I would love to have you there and visit. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of music while I finish this page and then I'll come back in a minute.
so I am almost finished here with my background and as you can see I used a different variety of stencils uh, one of those which I created myself and I just added some more details to the background of the paint now I'm using some stamps to add a little bit more of interest and I decided to use a um black in here so you'll see me just kind of spread it now when I stamped this image here you'll see um, it was a little darker than I wanted so I decided to kind of dab a little bit of the color out by um, you know cleaning it up so I did the same just by trying to pick it up with the cardstock and then um, I use a paper towel so you'll see me here do a little bit of different things different techniques now, like I said, this is my first um, art journal page that I've made. Um, so I'm super excited to do it. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And the image that, uh, you know, that I was going to be working with today was super pretty. And, um, you know, I believe that it is an amazing thing to do. So you'll see in a second. Um, I did color that image ahead of time and, color and, you know, cut it out because I wanted to have it all done before you know just to kind of try to save a little bit of time on doing this art journal page because it does take a lot of time so i wanted to kind of make this video nice short and sweet um, i did speed it up a little bit as you can see because i wanted to um, save up a little bit of, of time so i'm here picking up a little bit of the color like i mentioned and um, just trying to make sure that it's not so dark now i'm going to be also use stamping this little butterfly with a uh, gold ink and it is very very shimmery very pretty and i just decided to put a little bit of here uh, of the butterflies here and there just creating a little bit of a girlish uh you know feminine touch to it so here you can see how it's starting to look i was having so much fun creating this page and adding different little details here and there so i pulled out some stamps to add um, detail now some of them i thought that i was adding a little bit too much color so i decided to come back and pick up some of the ink just because i wanted these other little details of the um, this little flower branch tree to be very subtle so i went back up and i picked them up so i used different inks and here i kind of showed you what i was using um, like I said, I asked, I was trying to use what I already have and use my stash. So definitely use what you have. Now, this is the stamp or the image that I, um, was using. And this is what kind of created to go with my background. This little girl is from Oddball Stamps and her name is Felicity. Um, I believe it's called Fight Like a Girl Felicity Stamp. And, um, it's one of the images that Lizzie Love has at her shop. So make sure that you guys visit her as well. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. But I thought this was such a cute image. Now, I am a mom to girls and I believe that empowering women is such an important thing to do that we can start doing at a young age. And it's something that I, you know, practice and I do with my girls. So, you know, this little girl inspired me to create this page. Now, I looked through um, Pinterest and whatnot to look for different uh, quotes or things to add here. And I just printed this one that says, you can break down a woman temporarily. And I kind of prepped it all. I, you know, I'll read it all in a second or you'll see it. But I prepped it all because, again, I wanted to save time on doing the journal page. But I just, you know, made these little strips and cut them out. Um, and, you know, it just typed it up, cut them out. And I decided to add a little bit of... Um, kind of like a like a writing around it like little blocks to make it um, add a little bit more of interest so that's what I did here and I'm just trying to decide where to put the pages but I'm really really um, you know enjoying this and I really like how it turned out so I hope that you guys did as well and like I said make sure that you visit my blog I love to have you guys there um, and leave me a comment and um, you know like I said I will have a lot more still photos if you like to um, check them out and see them but we'll love to have you there. So this is pretty much the page. As you can see, it's super cute. And I think it's very empowering. So again, the whole quote says, you can, temp you can break down a woman temporarily, but a real woman will always pick up the pieces, rebuild herself, and come back stronger than ever. The author is unknown. And this quote really, really spoke to me. So anyway, thank you so much for visiting me here today. I hope that you enjoyed this process and have a wonderful day. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.